Well, good evening and welcome to Blackie's Bulldog Tavern in Smithfield, Rhode Island. I'm Mike Mancuso as we get set for the inaugural Mike Pressler Show as we'll be highlighting Bryant Lacrosse here on Cox Sports Television. Today's program will be featuring junior Peter McMahon and we'll also be previewing the Bryant Lacrosse season. That's all coming up here on Cox Sports Television. And welcome back to Blackie's Bulldog Tavern in Smithfield, Rhode Island. I'm Mike Mancuso, joined by head coach Mike Pressler of the Bryant University Bulldogs lacrosse team. And coach, great to have you here on the Mike Pressler Show. And, you know, we take a look at last season. You guys finished 8-9 and nine overall, 3-2 and two in the NAC. What are kind of your overall thoughts and just a quick recap of last year? We were certainly disappointed. Um, you know, 8-9, and nine, we have uh, much loftier goals for our team and our program than a, than a sub one-game sub-500 year. Um, five of those those uh, nine losses were by one goal. So in our sport, those one goal games are decided in the last few seconds. It certainly could go either way. Um, you know, but on, on the other hand, we're very motivated, very excited to begin anew again. You know, the 2012 season kicks off this Saturday uh, versus Colgate. My first trip ever, actually, in 29 years of coaching. i never been to Hamilton, New York. So um, a lot of new for me, too, uh, against a very, very talented um, you know, highly ranked, you know, Colgate Raider team. Yeah. Now you guys have been in about a little bit of a mini camp since around January 20th. You were able to get the kids in a little bit earlier than the students came back just to take care of some housekeeping duties, things like that. How's it been going from your perspective though with this little mini camp and the preseason workouts? Well, actually we're starting the season a week earlier. So um, instead of bringing them back a whole week early and kind of cutting into their, their winter vacation, we decided to do a three day um, quote mini camp, very similar to football where you're doing two a days, nothing but lacrosse. We did that, um, I brought him back Friday, uh, took him to uh, a famous uh, chicken joint up here as we all know in Woonsocket for dinner and then did Saturday, Sunday, um, Monday uh, doubles with video in between and uh, very much a, a football type of mini camp and uh, couldn't be more pleased how our guys in the great shape that they came back in our performance during that mini camp and how hard we went at it. So I thought, you know, we crammed one week of practice in three short days. So from our point of view, from the coaches, uh, it went very well. That's good to hear. I'm sure uh, the team is looking forward to this opener coming up against Colgate. Now, as you're looking at this 2012 season, what are kind of some of the overall goals that you guys are looking for as a team? I mean, you have a very ambitious schedule, 16 game schedule. There's three teams that are in the top 20 right now heading into the season. What kind of goals are you looking for and what do you want to do with this game schedule? You know, by adding a, a team like Colgate, you know, everything in, in our world is strength of schedule. You know, you, you can't, in my opinion, make your schedule, quote, tough enough. Um, it's not about wins and losses as opposed to who you're playing and where those wins and losses fall. You know, we got to remember, we're still only in our fourth year of Division I. 16 games is a lot of games with no scrimmages in, in particular. So with each game, our players are getting more comfortable playing and hopefully being successful at the Division I level. You know, I think goal-wise, objective-wise, you know, we want to improve defensively. Uh, I thought last year um, we weren't as good as we should have been at the defensive end based on our personnel. Um, I think we're a much better offensive team already than we were a year ago. And then in the middle of the field, um, the face-off X, you know, we've been very dominant in my time here. Andrew Hennessy a couple years ago, probably one of the best in the country at the Division One level. Trevor Cipperly a year ago, our fifth-year senior from uh, from Notre Dame and then you know this year there's no dominant player at that particular position at the faceoff X so we're certainly going to have to do that by committee so um, we're thrilled about our team you know we're snake bit by uh, some injuries here you know as I tell our guys if, if you're not banged up quote if you don't have a few guys on the injured reserve or IR you're not trying hard enough you're not practicing hard enough um, so with that said you know hopefully we get some of these guys back in a short period of time and Really, really looking forward to the opener up in Hamilton, New York. And now one thing you do seem to have an abundance of is leadership. You have five captains this year in Rob Myrano, Jameson Love, Max Wiesenberg, Peter McMahon, and Nils Thompson. How'd that come about of having five captains here rather than the usual four? Uh, traditionally, you know, the minimum is two, the maximum is four uh, for me. And I've had two, three, four yep. uh, in, in all the years. But, you know, we had so, so many of those guys were so close, you know, um, and, and to exclude one of the five, I didn't feel was right because the voting was so close. Mm -hmm. And it was such a mandate that those five were clear cut 
ahead of some others. So we went with five. I think we got a balanced group. We got a couple at the offensive end, a couple at the defensive end. We got a fifth year senior. We got two juniors. You're going to meet Peter McMahon in a minute. So I think it's, it's a great group, a very balanced group, and a group I feel very comfortable with. And now as we shift a little bit towards the team outlook, we start in between the pipes from the back. Jamison Love, one of the best goaltenders in the NEC, perhaps in the country. How do you feel about him heading into this season? Jamison in three years at Bryant has started every minute of every game, you know, in between the pipes. Yeah. Obviously he's durable, he's nails tough, he's a great leader, great student here, 3-5 student at Bryant, uh, Bryant. Um, exceptional clearing goalie. Yeah. So experienced leadership, um, his ability to communicate and direct the defense is second to none. And so far after 17 practices, he's never been more on his game right now. So we feel very excited about where Jamison is as a player, as a leader, and certainly as a young man. Well, he'll certainly be put to the test right away against Colgate this weekend. As we look at the defense, you return All-American Mason Poley. However, you did lose a lot of other guys, a lot of experience, a lot of minutes logged back there. How are you doing in replacing that so far heading into the season? You know, it, it's been difficult. I mean, we're, it's very, very, very difficult to coach experience, especially at the defensive end. You know, as I say to our guys all the time, young defensive players, when you make a mistake, the scoreboard moves. You know, on offense, when you make a mistake, all you do is turn the ball over. So there's a lot more pressure on us to, to be more ready to go with these younger players, especially with a very ambitious schedule as we begin here less than a week. Absolutely. And as you progress down the field, you look at the midfield, you return Max Wiesenberg, 21 goals, 13 assists last year, first team all NEC. You also get the return of Matt Larson, who missed all of last year with a back injury. How are you looking for them to take a hold of this midfield for you? Well, two, two very different players, two very accomplished players. Uh, Matt Larson, argu argu arguably healthy, is our best athlete. Yeah. And he's got 4-5 speed, arguably our best defender with a short stick. You know, he's kind of, quote, our wild card. If he can make it all the way back here and healthy, he gives us a dimension in the midfield that we missed a year ago. Max is just a proven um, great, great veteran. Like Jamison started every minute of his career. Um, complimentary where he can play defense, he can play offense, he can between, play between the lines. Uh, very complete player, very experienced player. Um, you know, played well, very well in some big games over his career. And, and obviously his, his, his teammates think very highly of him by naming him one of the five captains. So we're very comfortable with Max back there in that leadership role along with Matt Larson. And we think overall probably the midfield might be our deepest position on, on this year's team. And then finally we move all the way to the attack. And you know, we've got Peter McMahon who we'll be speaking to in a couple of minutes. Led the team in total points, 20 goals, 30 assists as a sophomore. Comes back as a junior captain now, ready to lead this team on the attack. Who else should we look for to work with him up top? You know, we're starting today. Um, it's going to be those right-handed positions are going to be Peter McMahon, sophomore tr um, uh, Dan Sipperly, Trevor's younger brother, uh, Travis Harrington, a, a fourth-year senior, uh, probably our best Dodger, and then a new comer to our program, a, a lefty, a transfer from Wagner University. Um, uh, Cody Isdainer was Wagner's best player a year ago. We played against him. Yeah, he gave us fits. Uh, Cody decided to transfer to Bryant as a junior. So, um, you know, Cody, that big, strong lefty. You, you see Peter, Travis, Stan Sipperly. You know, we got a very, very formidable attack unit. Matt Bletzer, another sophomore. So we feel very comfortable, very excited uh, about the back end of us offensively. And, and, you know, the ball in lacrosse goes from the defensive end, the goalie, the defense, to the midfield, to yeah. the attack end, and hopefully in the goal, those guys are all very accomplished at putting the ball in the goal. And finally, special teams. You mentioned you lost your top face-off man in Trevor Sipperly. How is the face-off position looking, and also maybe some man up and some man down situations? Uh, you know, I think with uh, the face-off X, you know, we're actually going to put a, a couple freshmen in there, right out of the box here. Uh, uh, Kevin Massa, Connor Horrell, two Long Island freshmen, two tough kids, football guys. Uh, great scrappers in the middle, very physical in the middle. Uh, Bruce Perry, our, our sophomore, and Rob Gorn, our sophomore. You know, both very similar type players, you know, just tough, gritty, uh, defensive midi type guys that can uh, really battle in there. And then extra man, I think we're going to be uh, a dynamic extra man team, I hope. And then Coach Broderson, who kind of runs the man down, he's got his hands full there because we lost a lot of key personnel. And um, other than Mason Poli and Rob Mayrano, that's going to be a new, um, a new special team for us as we begin the year. All right, well, excellent. Well, it's time for a timeout here on the Mike Pressler Show. We'll be back with Peter McMahon, the junior captain, here on Cox Sports Television.